Hi, my name is Umberto Mancini and I am a Technical Account Manager here at AWS. In this video, I will demonstrate how to protect your application against bots leveraging AWS Web Application Firewall Layered Protection. AWS WAF is a security service that operates at Layer 7, more specific on HTTP HTTPS traffic. Layered Protection, also known as Defense in Depth, is a comprehensive security strategy that employs multiple security measures to protect the system. Layered protection involves using various rule sets and security control to defend against a wide range of potential threats. AWS WAF accomplishes this by offering a versatile combination of AWS managed and custom rule groups. The protection extends from low level operating system vulnerabilities to sophisticated application specific attacks. By leveraging WAF, you are not just adding another security layer, you are implementing an adaptive and comprehensive defense mechanism that can be tailored to your specific security needs and evolving threat landscape. Now, let's see how to set up security controls to protect against common threats and bots. Let's explore the AWS Managed Rule Groups. As a layered approach, when I'm building a web access control list, I'm choosing first the IP lists. IP reputation list that is going to protect us from the IPs that Amazon Threat Intelligent identifies as threats. Anonymous IP list that contains IPs that are likely to be proxies, totally node, and providers that are used to hide the identity. Then the core rule set that contains rules that are generally applicable to web applications and protect against a wide range of exploits, including those described on OWASP publication. Then I'll add the no bad inputs that is going to block the request pattern to be invalid and that are used for exploitation and vulnerability discovery. I also protect the operating system where the application resides. So in my example is Linux, so let's add it. I want to also protect the backend database from SQL injection, so I'm choosing SQL database. Let me add an additional layer of protection against DDoS using a custom rule. So on top right, I'm going to click add rules, then add my own rules and rule group. This rule that I'm going to build will block the requests from CMIP that is going to exceed the rate that we will assign and is going to protect us against HTTP flood. The key point to consider is that since this setting will be applied to all incoming requests, it's essential to avoid setting the threshold to low. Instead, you should analyze your application's metric to determine an appropriate value to set. You can add other rate-based rules with lower threshold for page such as login page. At the end of this video, in the resource section, I will provide you an useful blog post link where there is a deeper explanation about rate-based rules and how to identify the appropriate threshold for your application. Okay, now let's set up the bots protection. So again, add rules, add managed rule groups, then under paid rule groups, I'm going to select bot control. Bot control needs additional configuration before to start to work, so let me click edit. At this point, we need to select the appropriate bot control inspection level, common or targeted. The difference is that common protection detects bots that are not hiding to be a bot like web scrapers, search engine, automated browser and so on. Targeted include common protection but is able to identify also advanced bot like stealthy or evasive bot and this protection leverages technology like browser fingerprinting, environment interrogation, proof of work and machine learning detection. If you don't want to block all bots here, for instance in search engine, social media or SEO, you can choose category of bot overriding action to take. If you are also facing fraud-related threats, you can also protect your application, enabling account takeover prevention and account creation fraud prevention. Account takeover prevention managed rule group is a pre-configured set of rules that helps protect web application and APIs against bot-driven credential stuffing attacks, which are common methods used in account takeover attempts. Key features include credential staffing detection, IP reputation checks, anomaly detection, rate limiting, challenge mechanism. 
Account Creation Fraud Prevention Manager Drew Group is a set of pre-configured rules designed to protect the web application and APIs against various types of fraudulent activity. Key features include suspicious IP detection, job blocking, user agent analysis, behavioral analysis, device fingerprinting and rate limiting. Before concluding this video, let me share best practices. The AWS Managed Rule Groups have two categories, the free and paid rule groups. The paid rule groups, such as bot control and fraud control, are available at an additional fee. To optimize costs, when you are setting priority of rule groups, put the free rule groups before paid ones. Scope down the requests for paid rule groups in order to protect only needed resources. Implement comprehensive application monitoring by enabling logging and configuring a metric dashboard for enhanced visibility. Develop an incident response runbook to ensure readiness for potential security incident. Test your web access control list in a staging environment first. Alternatively, set the response action to count mode and monitor traffic for a sufficient period. This ensures you don't block legitimate traffic when implementing in production. If you are interested to learn more about rate limits, security automation, common configurations, patterns and more, you will find links in the description. This concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for your time. Happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS.